Hi, today I want to show you this new application that is going to be published into the next release of MRPT2. Uh, the application is called 3D Rotation Converter. I will show later where is the, the source code for it. But it is a, a showcase for two features. One is the, um, the different kinds of parameter, parameterizing the special orthogonal group 3 of rotations in, in the space and the different functions for converting between them in, in the C++ library of MRPT. And the second feature is this new uh, graphical user interface library which has been integrated into MRPT which is called Nano GUI. Uh, this library has been used to create all these elements, the controls here. Okay. And in the background of the main window, we can show a, a, a classic MRPT uh, OpenGL scene. So uh, here we have in this application in particular, we have an input panel for the rotation, the, the specification of one rotation that the user wants to visualize. And in this second window, we can see the same rotation specified in different formats, in different um, parameterizations. So as input, we have the Joe roll, which is one of the um, Euler angles uh, parameterization of rotations. Here we have the Joe, which is an angle between minus pi and plus pi. We can use radians or degrees. So for example, um, zero, uh, Joe, as you know, you probably know, Joe is a rotation along the C axis. So if we specify a rotation here, we are rotating, let me put the zero here. We are rotating along the C axis, right? And then we, we rotate along the Y axis, along the transform axis. It is an intrinsic rotation, not an extrinsic. So we are apl applying rotations over the new rotated angles, okay? So then we have a rotation along C, rotation along Y, and then rotation along the final X axis. So specifying an angle here, we just click apply or just move this slider, and we can see the, cor the corresponding uh, rotation matrix here, also the um, in MATLAB format, in quaternion, axis angle, and the logarithm of the um, rotation in the in the Lie group. Okay, so for example, we can see this in orthogonal view. So we can check, for example, that that the, this column, the column of the first uh, the first column in the rotation matrix, corresponds to the coordinates of the rotated x axis. The colors, by the way, as, as usual, red, green, and blue are x, y, and c. So the x uh, axis has a component of 0 0.9 in the original x, so it is correct here, 0 0.28 in y, which is like this, and, and minus 0 0.23 in c. So you can see that everything matches here, uh, the expectations. We can also specify the, directly the, um, the rotation using a, a matrix. In the case of the matrix not being accurate, for example, like this, when you click apply, it will recompute the reprojection of the rotation on the closest rotation matrix in the, in the manifold. So it will switch you can, you can see that it automatically changed my numbers to something that is close on the manifold. Okay, we can also specif specify a quaternion and in axis angle, for example, we can specify a rotation along the axis 1, 0, 0 and a rotation of 90 degrees. So we can see that we have rotated along the x-axis 90 degrees. The original one was like this, 45 is like this, 90 is like this. Okay, and we can also specify a logarithm, a logarithm in the in the Lie group. Okay, so this is a bit more advanced. 
those of you who are familiar will understand that for example here if we if i specify a, com a small number in the c component of the logarithm is like making a rotation along the c axis okay so the the source code for this application is in online on github you can use this as a tutorial also for the nano GUI application basically all you have to do is to initialize the the nano GUI library first then you can create the um, this is some parameters some auxiliary variables here and this uh, in this application i have this lambda this is in charge of basically updating everything it takes all the inputs from the control and update the, the numbers and then apply the rotation to the, the visual objects this, this corner that was rotating the rotation is applied with this operation and then finally here is the the main window this is the main window of the application we can specify here the title the size and everything and we start creating new sub windows with these operations here you can go through the source code and i hope that it is easy easy to follow